On Wednesday, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders introduced legislation that would end federal cannabis prohibition in the U.S. Further evidence the Democratic presidential hopeful is committed to pot law reform. The Ending Federal Marijuana Prohibition Act, the first of its kind to be introduced in the U.S. Senate, is based on a bill put to the House by Congressman Jared Polis in 2013 and reintroduced this year. While the Senate bill wouldn't legalize cannabis federally, it would remove the plant from the DEA's list of the most dangerous drugs, as well as the Controlled Substances Act, giving states the freedom to legalize weed for medical or recreational purposes without federal interference. Representative Polis commended the bill, calling it a huge step forward in the movement to enact the common sense drug laws needed to grow the U.S. economy and restore fairness to its justice system. The proposal comes only a week after Sanders first suggested ending the nation's cannabis ban. At a campaign event in Virginia last month, he said the time is long overdue for us to remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Too many Americans have seen their lives destroyed because they have criminal records as a result of marijuana use. Fortunately, declassifying cannabis wouldn't require congressional approval, meaning that if Sanders becomes president, he would have the executive authority to make the change himself. While President Barack Obama hasn't interfered with states that have already legalized weed, he hasn't made any attempt to reschedule the plant either. With Hillary Clinton unwilling to commit to reform, Sanders may be the nation's best chance of ending federal cannabis prohibition.